Fort Wayne man trying to break up a street fight is knocked cold from his motorcycle, and it's all caught on camera. Good evening. I'm Hunter Petroviak. Marvin Sprawl says he just wanted to go for a ride on his motorcycle, but instead he landed in the hospital. Fortunately, he's alive to tell his story. Fox 55's Gentil Neal talks to him and his family. Coming from his driveway, instead he ended up getting a concussion and bruises and heavy bleeding, as you can see, still here on the concrete. Sprawl says he wanted to take his bike out one last time before selling it, but two women were fighting in front of the driveway. You have to stop this crap or I'll call the cops. Sprawl says two men quickly confronted him. And um, the one on the, on, on the left said, call the cops, huh? Did this clear the way? And uh, yeah. something happened to me. I went down. Uh, I, I blacked out. I came to the bikes on me. There's blood on my hands. You know, what's this blood on my hands? What, what's my, what's, what, you know, and then I got kicked. Within hours of the incident, this video posted on social media. It appears to show the moment he was hit. We've reached out to the man who shot the video and other witnesses, but have not received any response. Sprawl watched it for the first time Wednesday as our camera rolled. In the video, you see an oxygen tank on Sprawl's bike. Yeah, I'm on oxygen. I'm on blood thinners, and I have a heart condition. So, um, we have to know to these people. Sprawl's son, Kyle, rushed to his dad's aid after learning he was hurt. When I came down and saw all the cop cars and everything else, and I went to go move the, move the bike and everything else, and I go, oh, wait, you're in a crime scene. I'm like, for what? What do you mean a crime scene? You know, I, I had no idea what was going on. But later, he and his girlfriend saw the video online and grew angry. They quickly discovered others were upset too. As soon as I, as soon as I went back to the source of um, the person that shared the original video, I just had people contacting me left and right. Fort Wayne police tell us they're still investigating and that no one has been charged at this point. Sprawl's family says they're meeting with the detective Thursday, hoping that justice will be served. I just wanted to, you know, write off. In Fort Wayne, Gentil Nil, Foss, 55 News.